Hi oh, everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making the creamiest and the most delicious strawberry cheesecake. This is a super simple recipe that requires just a bit more time. But I promise you, this is the best recipe you will ever use for a cheesecake. Light, smooth and so creamy with a very fresh homemade strawberry topping and for sure, a must-have traditional ground crust. So, let's make some cheesecake. First, it starts by melting the butter for the crust, 150 grams of unsalted butter. Meanwhile, you can assemble the tray for the cheesecake. Spray the tray with baking oil or butter and cut parchment paper for the bottom and for the edges. This will make sure the bottom doesn't stick and the sides will be neat and beautiful. Cover with two pieces of foil, big enough to cover the cheesecake pan more than half. If your foil is too small to cover it nice, you can add one more sheet. Fold the two pieces together like this, making thick edges, to protect the water from the pan coming inside to the filling. Press very well around the pan to keep it tight. You also need a big hotel pan or any kind of pan that fits the cheesecake pan inside. I'm using a foil pan, but you can use any tray of this shape. For our crust into a medium bowl, add 300 grams or 3 cups and a half of ground crumble. 3.5 tablespoons of sugar and mix well. Then add the melted butter and start by mixing it with a spatula so it gets more wet. Use your hands and mix it until really well combined. If you like, add some lemon zest, about a half a lemon. Add into the cheesecake pan. I like to use a cup to help me know how much I have all around. Use your hands to press it down, making it even all over. Bake for 10 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Let it cool before adding the filling. For the filling, into the mixing bowl add 1 kg of soft cream cheese. It needs to be soft. I usually leave it out of the fridge for a couple of hours before making the cheesecake. I like to use a scale for this recipe. It makes it more precise. Add 220 grams of sugar. Mix until the cream cheese and sugar gets very creamy and has no lumps. Mix while scraping down the bowl to really get rid of all the lumps. Add 220 grams of eggs, dividing two parts, and add one teaspoon of vanilla paste or one and a half for extract. Mix until very creamy and smooth.
Put the foil back and add the cheese cake into the big pan. Add the filling over the crust. Add the water very gently and bring it to the oven. Bake the cheesecake at 350 Fahrenheit for 40 to 60 minutes. Turn the cheesecake after 20 minutes. Bake until you see the meat of the cheesecake doesn't jiggle anymore. Take the cheesecake out from the oven and when it cools down, take it out from the water. Place the cheesecake into the fridge overnight. Now it's time for you to drop a like if you're enjoying this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more amazing delicious recipes. For the topping, wash one pound of strawberries and cut the leaves off. Leave the small ones with whole pieces and the big ones cut them in quarters. Add to a medium pot with 4 tablespoons of sugar and 1 and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. Into a small container, mix 2 tablespoons of cold water with 1 tablespoon of cornstarch until very well combined. Stir the strawberries until all the sugar is coated. Cook it until it starts to boil and the foam is gone. Add the cornstarch mixture until you get a medium thick texture. You don't want it too thick, but also not too liquidy. When it's ready, you start the top into a container into the fridge. Add some plastic wrap on the top so you don't get any skin on it. Get the cheesecake from the fridge and remove it from the pan using a spatula. Place it over a tray and cut as you like. I like to add the topping when I'm serving the cheesecake. Heat a knife using a torch or by running hot water over the knife to cut the cheesecake, so you will have very neat slices. After each cut, rinse the knife with hot water. Add the topping on top and go crazy! The creaminess of this filling is unbelievable. The topping is perfectly balanced and the sweetness is just perfect. And for sure, there is no better cheesecake crust than with graham crackers. This cheesecake is really a must-have cheesecake recipe. So everybody, I hope you like this recipe and try to make it at home. Let me know if you do. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao!
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe here. On Bay Cook Travel, we always bring the best food adventures and food recipes. If you'd like to see more food recipes, click here. And for more food adventures, click here. See you in the next video.